Many are the teachings of the Lord Jesus. One of them is that we must receive the kingdom of heaven like a child. Let the little children come to me, and do not forbid them, for of such is the kingdom of God. The children also experience miracles, and they are an example of faith and dependency on the Lord's grace. Why are you crying? It's because I'm so moved. Why are you so moved? Because I can't hear again. From which ear couldn't you hear? This one. Uh, how long? Oh, since I was three years old. How old are you today? I'm ten. So you haven't heard for seven years? Yes. If you covered this one, you couldn't hear? Right. So cover it well now. Look ahead to the crowd. Tell us what your name is. Esther. Aparecida. Wilson. No. <laughs> Isn't this beautiful, Esther? The Lord Jesus has healed you. Yes, he has. Cover this ear once again and look that way now. How does it feel to hear again? It's wonderful. It's wonderful, brethren. Thank you, Jesus. She was all mushy, but now she is standing up. I'm so happy. She couldn't stand up? No, she couldn't. So stand her up over there. She never stood still. She never did that? No, she was always mushy, flaccid like a jello, and she would fall from one side to the other. Jesus healed her. Show me how you walked when your leg was stiff. Show us. Show us. Show us. Like that? How could you run with a stiff leg? Like this. Was it difficult? Run normally now. She wasn't here for more than one year. So you couldn't hear for it over a year? More than one year. These are the hearing aids. But she could hear with them. Only with them. So you couldn't hear no, without she them? Let's try to teach her. One. Wow. It's starting to come out. <laughs> Two. 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 The words are coming out. <laughs> it's so beautiful to see these tears of emotion, my brethren. Can you say, Jesus? Jesus. Jesus! <laughs> Her grandfather's in tears, brethren. This is so beautiful. It is with tears that Arthur's mother tells about the beautiful miracle that he lived. What happened to you? Jesus healed my son's foot. It was crooked ever since he Bring was them up in here, my please. <laughs> Glory to God. Our Hallelujah. Lord Jesus is amazing, folks. Jesus, you're wonderful. Bring them my up son here. Is healed. This is what God wants to do here today, folks. Jesus healed his foot. Tell me what happened, sister. Jesus healed my son at the moment you said the prayer. What was his foot like? It was simply crooked, twisted to the inside, but Jesus did his work Look right how beautiful now. this is, brethren. Glory to God. Hallelujah. I'm so happy. I have no words to you thank you. You just have to thank Jesus. Oh, Jesus, thank God. How old is he, sister? Thank the Lord, Jesus. He's going to be two What's months. What's his name? Artur. Artur, you've been greatly blessed. Hallelujah. Six years later, little Arthur's foot remains perfect. What did God do, Sarah? When my grandson was born, they broke his collarbone. When he was born? Yes, when he was born. And because of that, his nerves were atrophied. He could never stretch his arm normally. His arm would always remain contracted. But now the Lord has healed him. What's your grandson's name? His name is Leonardo. Leonardo, stretch your arm out now. Look at that, brethren. Lift up your arm, lift up your arm. Let him lift his arm up. Lift it up, Leonardo. Oh, let's applaud for Jesus. This is beautiful, sister. He was born with a crooked foot. He was born like this. It's a birth defect. And since he was five days old, we had to put a cast because it was twisted to the inside. And when he came here today, his foot was swollen because he has to wear this 24 hours a day in order to correct his foot. But even so, the doctor said his foot will not be like the other. But now it's not totally twisted, no, is it? No, it's not. Oh, Jesus, this is beautiful, brethren. What is his name? Arthur. His name is Arthur Fultz. How old is he? He is two months and two weeks the old. The other Arthur was two months old. Let's applaud. What happened to you, little girl? Pastor, I couldn't see you with the sigh. You couldn't see anything? So cover your other eye now. Cover it. What am I doing now? You are waving goodbye. And now? Scratch your head. Applaud the Lord Jesus. The Lord Jesus is tremendous. I had a problem in my throat. How could he speak before? He really stuttered a lot. 
Are you healed, young man? I am. Then say, Jesus has healed me. Jesus has healed me. I love me. Jesus. I love Jesus. He is everything to me. He is everything to My me. My life belongs to him. My life belongs to him. I will never stutter again. <laughs> <laughs> she has paralysis in her legs and has difficulty to walk. And now? She says she's been healed. Did you have a lot of pain? Then what is your name? Yasmin. Yasmin, show us how you walk before the prayer. I walk like this. Did it hurt? Uh-huh. It isn't hurting anymore? No. So walk normally in the name of Jesus. And can you lift your arms up as well now? So lift them high. Listen to me. Now you're going to walk beautifully like a princess. Come and walk, Gasmin. Has she really improved, sister? Yes, she has. She wasn't like that before? No. I I've seen you before. Where did you see me? My mother has a DVD to watch you. And what did you think when you saw me? Oh, well, I thought you were really cute. Really cute. <laughs> oh, Yasmin, give Dr. Suarez a kiss. <laughs> Glory to God. You couldn't hear anything? He says he can hear now. Repeat after me. One. One. Two. Two. Three. Three. Four. Four. Jesus. Jesus. <laughs> Jesus has healed you, little brother. Our Jesus is amazing, brethren. He is beautiful, wonderful. He is our true friend. Like the word of God says, out of the mouth of babes and nursing infants, you have perfected praise. Learn with the Lord Jesus and you can also receive his kingdom like a child. Therefore, you will also have the strength and faith to live God's supernatural just like them.